Hey everybody, I want to show you a little bit about the Quizlet program that's on the internet. Uh, you sign up for a free account. Uh, it's for both, it's for anybody, for teachers and students. Uh, teachers can set it up and say what they can share what they call sets with students or other people. Uh, students can set it up for themselves. Uh, my sister is taking some classes at KVCC and I shared it with her and she's taking it and using it for vocabulary in one of her medical classes. But what it is, you set up a series of flashcards. And when first kids look at it, it has the term and the definition. So you can go through and it will take you through the vocabulary. You can also have it, so instead of showing both sides, you can have it, I like to do the term first, the word, and then if you click on it, it'll show you the definition. Go to the next word, tuition, cost of classes, and go through that way. Uh, you can shuffle the order of terms if you want to go through them. You can make it so it's a little more full screen. This right here will actually let uh, the computer, it'll make the computer read the word in the definition so that you can, you can auditorially hear it. Um, down below are all of the words. And again, you can click on things. Cost of your meal plan. And it will read it to you. So if kids aren't sure what it says, they can click on the speaker and the application will read it for you. There are some different ways to study under the speller. Once you get in there, what it will do is it'll say school setting. And then you can type it in. So you're learning to type it. University. So you go in and type. Um, you can learn. It'll give you the definition and you'll put in what the word is. It'll also test you, so you can go through and write in what your answers are. It has both multiple choice and fill in the space. Something I like for kids to use when they're trying to learn the, the words to get familiar with them after they review them here is to go to the scatter game. And what it is, it puts the definition and the terms on there, and what you're trying to do is just match them. So when you match them, they'll disappear. So you're trying to clean everything up so everything disappears. And as soon as you've done that, it'll time you. Actually, kids can compete for time. Uh, once they do this a few times, they get familiar with the words. There's what they call the space race. What this does is the, the words are going to scroll by. And you can either have the definitions or the terms. So I recommend the definitions. And as it comes by, you've got to type it, and you've got to type it right. All right, and I didn't quite make that one. So it'll let you actually type it there. It says scholarship right there. I must have spelled it wrong. And now it keeps going. All right, so you can make multiple sets. Uh, when I go to my account, I've got like three or four of them there. But I think it's a great tool to introduce kids to vocabulary. Um, again, you've got the audio there. You've got the different tools to learn to spell, to you know, learn definitions, quiz themselves, play some games that interact with the words. Down here, again, they are all there. And you can click on the speaker, and it will speak it to you. All right, it's not really that hard to set up. And I think it would be something that once kids got using, hopefully they would set up their own account at some point and continue to use it on their own. To share with kids, what you can do is you can click on link or embed. And what it will do is it will give you a short URL. You can use that if you're going to, for instance, email it to them or post it as a link in StudyWiz or Edmodo on a website, Weebly, however you're going to give it to them. They're also down here at these Embed codes are really nice. Uh, for instance, if you were to put it into a Google site, let's say you have a Google site page set up for your, your class, you could take this embed site, put it in there, and it actually embeds those activities into your page so that kids can interact, interact with them through your site, whatever it is.